I'm Jill, <laughs> Jill Crumsick. I'm Stacy Caldwell, president of Dallas Social Venture Partners and one of the co-conspirators of Spark Club. And my name's Bob Wright. So I'm, I'm the founder of Dallas Social Venture Partners. My name is Sarah Jane Simrod and I am a co-conspirator with Spark Club, co-founder of Art Conspiracy and executive director of La Reunion. My name's Christian Caldwell. I, uh, I'm a co-conspirator of the Spark Club and work for the American Heart Association. Spark Club is, is um, sort of a, a rethinking um, of, uh, you know, DSVP has been around for 10 years and in 10 years the world has changed. Um, and so it arose out of, the, of, out of the simple question which was if we were going to start DSVP again, um, what would it look like today? Well, Spark Club was started by a group of us who recognized that there's a lot of people doing good in the community and we wanted to bring them together. More specifically, good isn't just relegated to the nonprofit community. We recognized that there were a lot of entrepreneurs out there who were trying to start businesses that had a social mission, and nonprofits who were trying to create a sustainable business model. It's creating the network of artists, creative people, entrepreneurs, thinkers, doers, leaders in both the for-profit and nonprofit sector. So Spark Club is a network of action-oriented individuals that want to do good in the community. It's kind of as simple as that. I got called on by Stacy and Bob Wright to help them with their social media uh, to start this new group. Um, and I realized early on talking to them that we had an innovative new way of sparking social innovation and uh, could, could um, turn this into sort of a fishing trip for people who want to do social good. As North Texas citizens, we recognize that homelessness and hunger, poverty, the environment, these are the things that we know are our bigger challenges as a community. And it's going to take more than just the nonprofit sector and philanthropy to address them. It's going to take all of us. And so we've got to kind of collectively um, bring each other together. There are people who show up at Spark Club that I'm not sure exactly how they got there, but it's very, you know, it's very cool. And in many cases, they're not sure how they did, but the connections are starting to be meaningful um, as people um, understand that there's, you know, they're, they're more like me out there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I think that it's, it's doing well because people are having fun and they're learning and it's very focused. It's not just go and network and meet people. It's this is very specific topics that we want to talk about. It's the opportunity to have conscious discussion around something you're interested in with a group of people that share the, the same interest. Um, because the c connections aren't intuitive until you put two people across from each other and ask them to talk about what it is they're trying to do. And um, you can actually see the sparks fly, which is a cool, um, a cool thing to happen at a spark club, actually. You know, it seems aptly named in that regard.